Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ola Jumoke. I am taking some personal days off and so I thought that that fits in beautifully in today's topic, the subject of this video, which is the importance of self-care, of taking some time off away from work, away from the aggressive demands of life and just spending time in tranquility and in a restful state. Now, a lot of us, of course, went through quite a bit over the last two years. For some people, it's been extremely difficult. For others, the last two years have been the best years of their lives. My industry, for example, a lot of people made incredible amounts of wealth. Um, a lot of people made fantastically shocking amounts of money over the last two years. But I think in every situation in life, you find those who benefit from it and those who unfortunately um, have a negative experience. That is not the subject of this video, but I'm speaking to, I suppose, those who have felt very burnt out by everything that's happened over the last two years. I personally thought that working from home would be easier, but if you're anything like me, what I found was that my personal life and my work life just started to sort of mesh together you know there was no distinction between what my personal time and space was versus what my work life and space was and i felt that after a while that started to have a negative impact on my productivity because some days i would work till very very late at night 12 1 a.m because i had a deadline or because i just wanted work to be completed before the next day um, and I think that for the last two years, I've been working nonstop. I haven't really taken off holiday, just, you know, a break from work. I run several businesses. I have some passion projects that I'm working on as well as my nine to five or my day job. So it can get quite a lot. But one thing I realized over the last two years, which I really didn't take seriously before the pandemic, is that you are responsible for your well-being. I know that sounds very obvious, but I think Oftentimes we just get stuck into work and we work and we work and we forget that it's very imperative to take time out, to spend time alone, spend time detoxing, spend time just getting your mind and your brain to rest from all the sort of daily activities that you have to undergo if you're working or perhaps if you are an entrepreneur or a stay-at-home parent. All of these activities demand such great amounts of energy and it's very important to switch off every now and then. So prior to the pandemic, my job required a lot of travel. I would travel anywhere between 12 to 15 times uh, transatlantic and that was fantastic until it wasn't. So for a lot of us, our jobs are very demanding and the fact that you have your paid annual leave means that your companies or your employers recognize that every now and then in order to get you relaxed and supercharged for the next challenge, etc., it's very important to take your annual leave. And that's why you have paid annual leave. So make sure that you're taking those days, those personal days every single year. So in this video, I'm going to share my top tips for getting that restful break from work and getting yourself into a state where you are totally relaxed and in a place of calm. So if you'd like to know more about this, keep on watching. So the first way I like to relax and unwind is booking a holiday. Now I don't necessarily like to fly, but I think that the thought of a beautiful, gorgeous destination and holiday at the end of a trip definitely makes it easier for me. So one thing I like to do is just book a holiday somewhere lovely. Uh, we've become very accustomed to staycations on the back of you know what's happened over the last two years. And so you don't have to fly and it doesn't have to be somewhere grandiose or expensive. It can be a very nice cottage somewhere in the countryside or a sort of budget hotel, but it takes you away from your immediate environment. I just find that I'm more relaxed when I'm outside of my immediate environment outside of my home which has doubled as my office now i just like to take some time off to go to some beautiful destinations beautiful hotels enjoy some you know time off be pampered so one way i like to unwind is to book a holiday like i said it doesn't have to be anything expensive it can be a budget hotel somewhere in a nice town or a nice village it can be a luxury hotel it can be a villa whatever it is that takes your fancy 
Just make sure that you are booking some time off. And the way I like to do that is to go on holiday. This video was sponsored by Coco and Crumble, an amazing brand for all things home fragrance. Visit www.cocoandcrumble.com for all your home fragrance needs. Whatever your preference, fruity, floral, zesty, oriental, earthy, aromatic, you're guaranteed to find a gorgeous fragrance for your home. The second way that I indulge in self-care is through spas and relaxation retreats. Now I discovered a treasure and honestly like the most incredible spa maybe 45 minutes from my home. I never heard of it until a few days ago when I was doing some research about where to take um, my next sort of spa holiday and it is an absolute hidden treasure. But the thing is, I never really get an opportunity to do that. And because my job demanded that I travel, what I did was I found some incredible local spas where I would travel to and I would use those as my relaxation escape, if you will, even whilst working. So I would go to the spa, at night at least uh, once a week whilst I'm working just to relieve some tension and stress. And again, because I travel quite a bit, I don't necessarily always get the opportunity to attend spas in London. And it's also, you know, cheaper, it's a different experience doing it abroad. So yeah, I like to book spas. I would encourage you to book some gorgeous, and they have so many gorgeous treatments. They have your bodily treatments, your facial treatments. Um, they have a lot of aromatherapy type uh, treatments. Just so many things you can indulge in. They have beautiful baths, you know, Turkish baths, hot baths, the sauna. I love to use the sauna, the steam rooms, swimming, just pampering, getting yourself pampered, getting your nails done, getting your manicures, your pedicures. I feel like that really is a way for me to detox, especially the steam rooms. I absolutely love steam rooms because I feel like I'm sweating out a lot of stress toxins that have been in my skin or my body for a long time. So I absolutely love spas and I would highly recommend that you think about a spa day as a way of relaxation and self-care. The third way that I like to indulge in self-care is really my rituals at home. So I have a bath or a shower twice a day without fail. It doesn't matter what time I get home. If I've been out on a long night and I come home at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 1 a.m., whatever it is, I always have a bath or a shower. That's just something I really enjoy doing and I've been doing it for such a long time. It's become force of habit. And also there are certain rituals that I perform before I go to bed. So my cleansing rituals, you know, cleansing my skin, detoxing, um, scrubs for my, my face and my skin, all of those things, you know, my moisturizers, my toners, I just have a ritual basically that I perform every day um, without fail and so for me that's also a form of self-care. As I mentioned in my last video my skin has really suffered over the pandemic and so I really want to sort of get back that health I used to have and so one way I do that is through my home rituals. So another way that I like to indulge in self-care is through my daily routines and my daily rituals at home. It's also very cost effective. You don't necessarily have to pay a masseuse or an expert, and it's something that you can enjoy. It's sort of personal time. So what I would say is that if you are on a budget, that is a fantastic way to indulge in self-care. The fourth way that I really enjoy in terms of cleansing my space, physically and mentally, is through dieting. So when I've been on holiday, which I've just been on, um, I've been on another holiday after Portugal, I like to come back home and really detox. And the way I do that is through drinking a ton of water. By my bedside, I like to keep a lot of water just so that I remember to drink and just detox. I've got this massive five liter bottle, which um, I always like to have by my bedside. And it's just my way of, you know, really just cleansing myself. Um, if I've been on holiday, of course, I've been sort of indulging and spoiling myself a little bit. So when I come home, I like to really just detox with water, very natural, um, you know, way of doing that. I don't like to use any pills. Sometimes I drink teas, you know, detox teas, or I would have like, you know, detox in fruits, mixes, Anything that sort of works for you, go right ahead and do that. But for me, I like to use water and sometimes I use teas. Now the fifth way is a very, I suppose, unconventional way of self-care. And for me, that is really decluttering. I find it very therapeutic to declutter my wardrobe. I'd say 
at least twice a year. I've been fortunate to build up quite a wardrobe over the years and I'm very grateful for that. But I think that at some point, all of the clutter and all of the things I had just became a little bit too much. And I found out that because I was staying at home over the pandemic, working from home, it became very obvious to me that I had a ton of stuff in my home that weren't necessarily serving any valuable purposes and I had to get rid of them. So for the last two years, I've been gradually decluttering my home, decluttering my wardrobe, and just getting rid of things that are distracting, that don't necessarily add value to my life on a daily basis. And for me, that's given me a lot of mental clarity. So I'm going for a very minimalistic lifestyle now in terms of what I wear, what I eat, the things I do. And yeah, I just found that that really works well for me. And it's really given me a sense of peace whilst at home. I enjoy coming back home nowadays because there's just not too many things to look at. There's not a lot of clutter around me. And yeah, I would encourage you to definitely think about decluttering as a way of self-care also. So those are my top tips, my top five tips for self-care, whether that is on a budget, or whether you would like to splurge a little bit on yourself. I do hope these tips have been very helpful, as helpful as they have been to me. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe. Hello to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're a new subscriber, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Until next time, look after yourself and practice self-care. Bye for now.